Hello and welcome to Pavli. So in this video, we are going to see how you can get the data from Google Sheet when the data is added into a Google Sheet by any third party applications. So here guys, you know, usually with the Google Sheet trigger, which we have inside Pavli Connect, we add the webhook URL into a Google Sheet and we select send on event option. By this traditional process, whenever a new row of data is added in our Google Sheet manually till our trigger column, automatically the data of that newly added row is sent to Pavli Connect. But here guys, if you add the data into your Google Sheet, if the data, a new row of data is added into a Google Sheet by any third party application, in that case, using this option, it won't send data to Pavli Connect. So here guys, we are going to see how you can get the data of new row from Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect trigger and trigger your automation workflow if the data in our Google Sheet is added by a third party application. So here guys, to know this, first let's set up the trigger. We will come to the trigger window of our workflow and here in choose app, we will search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets in trigger event from the drop down, select new or updated spreadsheet row as the trigger event. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us the webhook URL. And here you can see a step by step process that how you can add the webhook URL into your Google Sheets account. I guess you must be aware of that. Now what we have to do, we just have to add this webhook URL into our Google Sheet. So I'll just copy it from here, go to the Google Sheets, go to extensions, and here guys, you have to install the Pavli Connect webhooks add-on into your Google Sheets account. Here you can see a step-by-step -step process that how you can install this add-on. After installing the add-on, here you can see Pavli Connect webhooks. This add-on option will be visible after that. Here just hover on it and go to initial setup. After clicking on initial setup, here you can see that this box appears in front of us. It is asking us selected sheet that the new row data from which sheet in our Google spreadsheet we want to send to Pavli Connect. Right now in my Google spreadsheet, I have only one sheet named as form responses. That's why by default it has selected that sheet over here. Then it is asking us for the webhook URL. Now here in this field of webhook URL, we just have to paste the exact same webhook URL which we have copied from Pavli Connect. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. And then it is asking us for the trigger column. So as you all know, trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. So I will be selecting column G as the trigger column. That it is the last data entry column in which any of the data will be added while adding the new row. And then we are just going to click on this send test button. Now when we click on send test, it is showing us test data sent successfully means the data of the first row after headers, means the data of row number two is now sent to Pavli Connect. So here we'll go to a Pavli Connect workflow and here you can see that in this trigger window, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same row number two. Here you can see the same date, same name, last name, email, phone number, and all the other data of the second row, row number two is received inside Pavli Connect. And also we have the row index. This means the connection of Google Sheets and Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. Now just click on the submit button and it is showing us that the setup configured successfully. Now after this guys, usually what we are going to do, we'll go to extensions, Pavli Connect webhooks and if we select send on event option over here, that whenever we are going to add a new row of data into a Google Sheet, then instantly that new row of data will be assigned to Pavli Connect. But here guys, if the new row of data till our trigger column is added by any third party application, then in that case, it won't trigger. This send on event option won't send the data to Pavli Connect. Now let's take an example, like here, this is the Google Sheet. And this is a Google Sheet which I have connected with JotForm. So JotForm has a native integration with Google Sheet using which you can directly get the form submission form responses from JotForm into your Google Sheet as you receive a new form submission. Means the data of a new row in this Google Sheet is added by any third party application. Right now, I'm just taking an example of JotForm, but instead of JotForm, you can basically use any application. From any third party application, you can get the data of new row into your Google Sheet. And now we are going to discuss the process that if the data in our Google Sheet is added by any third party application, then how we can send that data to Pavli Connect over here in this trigger step. So to do this guys, once again, we have to go to extensions, Pavli Connect webhooks and here in this drop down, you can see this option of auto send on schedule. 
you just have to select this option over here. Now, after selecting auto send on schedule, exactly after every one hour, the data of newly added rows will be sent to Pavli Connect. So after selecting this auto send on schedule option, every one hour, this add-on will check for newly added data, all the data of new rows, which was added in last one hour, it will get that data. And one by one, it will send that data to this Pavli Connect trigger. Then for one hour, the date sending of data will be paused. Then it will get the data for next one hour. And after exactly after one hour, one second, it will send the data of those newly added rows, which was added in last hour. So here we have to select this option on auto send on schedule. Now after selecting this, what we are going to do, we will get back to Pavli Connect and we will just click on this recapture webhook response button. After clicking on recapture webhook response, it has changed to waiting for webhook response. Now I will go to my JotForm account. Now because this Google Sheet is connected to JotForm and on JotForm submission, we are getting, we are adding the new row of data into the Google Sheet. So I will just make a test form submission in this jot form. I'll just copy the link and then paste it in a new tab. Basically, instead of jot form, you can get the data into your Google Sheet from any third party application of your choice. Then here guys, I'm just going to enter the details of a new user, a demo user over here. The name of the person is this. This is the email address of this person. This is a dummy mobile number. And then here I have a question of do you live in India? I'll select true over here and click on submit. So just now we have received a new form submission in JotForm. As I told you, we have connected this JotForm with Google Sheet. JotForm has a native integration with Google Sheet. And here you can see that just now in our Google Sheet, a new row of form submission data, a new row of form response is just now added. The same form response, the same form submission, which we have just now made. The same name, same email, same mobile number, and all the other details. Now, because we have connected this Google Sheet with Pavli Connect in the trigger step, and we have selected auto send on schedule option over here, we will see within one hour, exactly after one hour, the data of this newly added row will be sent to Pavli Connect. So if we select send on event option as we do usually, in that case, if the data of a new row is added by any third party application, as I told you, it won't be sent to Pavli Connect. But by using this auto send on schedule option, this data will be sent data of newly added row will be automatically sent to Pavli Connect every one hour. So here guys, you can see that right now the time is 3.48 PM. Now we will see exactly after one hour, we will get the data of this newly added row, which was added by JotForm in this Google sheet as a new row. The same data will be received inside Pavli Connect. So let's wait for one hour over here. And yes, guys, here you can see that exactly after one hour, it's 4.37 right now. And you can see that we have received the response inside Pavli Connect trigger window. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same form submission, which we have just now made in JotForm. Means the same row, which was added by JotForm in our Google Sheet, automatically the data or the details of that same row is received inside Pavli Connect over here. So in this way, you can get the details or the data which the third party application is adding as a new row in a Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect. Now every one hour, it will get the details or the data of all the rows which are added by third party application. So let's suppose if the application, the third party application has added 50 rows of data right now. So after one hour guys, we will see all the 50 rows of data will be sent one by one to Pavli Connect over here. And then this automation workflow will trigger 50 times and it will process the data using this automation workflow over here. So guys, this was the complete process to get the data added by third party applications in our Google Sheet inside Pavli Connect Trigger and then trigger these automation workflows over here. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any kind of doubt, confusion or any kind of query, you can write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.